Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to restore backup and how to transfer data on the Vivo X200 LE. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, as a first method, I'll show you how to transfer data from your old device uh, into your Vivo. Uh, and as a second method, I'll show you how to restore the backup from Google One. If you don't know how to create the backup from the Google One, uh, on our channel there is a video when I'm showing you how to do it. So if you want, you can look for it. Okay, so as you can see, we are doing the setup process. Uh, select your language and then click on Start. Then select your location and click on Next. Uh, in here, mm, select that you have agreed uh, into the above terms. Then click on Next. And already we have a... Uh, thing that we are interested in, which is set up using another device. You can see that already on my uh, second device, mm, option for a setup appeared. Uh, so on our Vivo, let's click on Android device in my case. Uh, and here, let's click on setup. Okay, and now we need to scan this QR code using our second device. So that's what I'm going to do. Simply scan it. As you can see, it's really easy. Also, the device is being automatically connected into the Wi-Fi. Okay, getting phone ready. This might take a few minutes, so we just need to wait a little bit. Okay, copying the account. Uh, and now we need to verify that it's uh, actually us. So uh, now uh, our old phone transferred, mm, actually is trying to transfer our Google account first. Uh, you can see the account right in here mm, and I simply need to type the password to it to confirm. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, then click on next. Uh, okay, also if you want, we can set the unlock method right now. Uh, it's not necessary, we can always click on skip. And remember that you can do it always later in the settings. So, in my case, I want to skip it. Okay, copy data from Android device, let's click on next. Okay, getting ready to copy. We need to wait a few seconds from now on. Okay, now we have an option to choose what we want to copy. And we can copy apps, photos and videos, messages, device settings, and the call history. For example, when it comes to the apps, you don't need to you know, copy all of them, all 67. You can click in here and you can manually select or unselect the app that you want to copy or don't want to copy. So it's completely up to you. In my case, I don't want any of my apps to be copied. I just want the rest from that list. Uh, so now click on copy. Once you have of course, selected what you want to copy. In here, click on OK. Now we have the Google services. Uh, I suggest you should uh, turn everything, then click on Accept. Now we have a possibility to enable the backup. It is a really useful thing. So I would also keep it enabled, then click on Turn on Backup. OK, now we need to choose our default browser and also the search engine. Uh, in my case, I want the Google Chrome as my default browser and Google as my default search engine. Click on set as default. Now let's click on continue. Uh, we can also see on our second device that a copying has been done. Now let's scroll down, click on agree. And now we have the Gemini, which is the AI assistant. And uh, we can enable the hey Google mm, comment. I'm going to turn it on. In here, you can also add another email account. You can change the text display, review additional apps, or add the fingerprint if you want. In my case, I want to click on no thanks. 
Now we can see that the copying has been finished, so photos and videos, messages, device settings and the call history has been successfully restored and transferred. So now let's click on done. Okay, uh, keep the system updated, click on next. In here, click on agree, click on next. Now select the navigation method. It can be three button navigation or the uh, gesture navigation. Uh, if you don't know how to use the gestures, you can always click on the tutorial. I'm gonna select the gestures. Now click on get started. And now we are ready to use our device. Also, when you open up the notification bar, you can see that uh, some of the apps might still be installed from the Google Play Store. Uh, so simply don't disconnect from the Wi-Fi yet. Wait until everything gets restored or downloaded and then you can turn, on, turn off the Wi-Fi. Okay, so that was the first method. And now let me show you the second one. Okay, and now just like I have said, I'll show you now how to restore the backup from the Google one. So again, we are on the setup process. Let's click on next. Again, we need to select our location. We need to agree into the above terms, then click on next. And now when we have a possibility to set up the device using another one, we need to click on skip. Now we need to connect into the Wi-Fi manually. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Then click on connect. Okay. Once I have connected, click on your Wi-Fi. And again, we have getting our phone ready process. So we need to wait a few seconds. Okay. And now that's a really important thing. Now we need to log in into the same Google account on which we made the backup before. It is really important and because if you log in into other Google account, you won't have a possibility to choose your backup because the uh, backup is stored uh, on our uh, Google account, only the specific one. So simply log in into your Google account then click on next I mean, first type the mail. Now type your password. Okay, so once you have typed your uh, password to your Google account, then click on next. Click on I agree. Now we need to wait a few seconds and now just like in the previous method we can now set the unlock method but in my case I want to skip it. Now we have possibility to copy apps and data so let's click on next. And now that's the thing that we want to get restore data from another device. And in here as you can see we have a list of backups that are made on my Google account and now simply select your Google account. Now we need to choose what we want to restore. In my case, I'll just leave it how it is, then click on this blue button restore. Okay, and now just like in the previous method, we have all of that um, Google uh, services. I'm just going to rush it through. I'm going to turn on the backup, click on next, click on the browser that you want. If you want some more specific uh, description uh, about what I'm doing, simply check the previous method. And now I'm going to select the Google as my default search engine, then click on continue. Now let's click on I agree. Okay, I'm going to turn on the Gemini comments. In here I'm going to click on no thanks. Now we need to wait a few seconds. Okay, then let's click on next, click on agree, click on next, select your navigation mode, then click on next, click on get started. Okay, 
and now we are ready to use our device and you can see now that um, all of the apps that we have selected in the backup uh, are being installed from the uh, Google Play Store so simply don't disconnect from the Wi-Fi yet and wait until everything gets downloaded all right and that's all in this video thank you all for watching if you found this video helpful please leave a like comment and subscribe